beauty in a way that I went, wait, what? And and this is the question where you mentioned, or do you, maybe you'll remember this in the book. I'm trying to remember where it was at, where you mentioned that we really reward beauty more than anything else. And one girl said, it's better to be beautiful than smart. Mm-hmm. I mean, describe what happened there. Yeah. Because that, that, it bothered me. I mean, it, it just bothered me that a kid would think that. I'm not surprised, but it did. It, it, it was very a sad moment in the, yeah. in the book because that's where our 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 girls are today. Um, they'd rather be beautiful than smart, and I mm-hmm. think that is just horrific, actually. Yeah. Personally. yeah. Yeah. I mean, this has been a long time in coming. It's not something that happened overnight and it's not something that happened necessarily with the advent of social media, but certainly the age we're in has made it worse. Um, It has made it um, that much harder. So I have four daughters. This is something, and I'm a woman, obviously. So this is something that I think about a lot. Um, But what I point to in the book and bring in a lot of sociological data to sort of prove it out is that girls in our current context are taught from a young age that your value is wrapped up in your appearance. Um, Um, usually your sexuality or the way that you can express yourself sexually Um, and not just beauty, but I also carry that out into ability. You know, we have, we have, um, I think Nancy Piercy put it this way first, we have instrumentalized our bodies. We've turned our bodies into instruments. And so this is really a different expression of Gnosticism where we separate bodies from minds and souls. And we've just said, okay, this physical body is what is useful. How can I turn this body into a tool for my advancement or the advancement of others? Or how can I exploit somebody else's body? And so we're growing up in an age that says you are only as valuable as you are pretty or sexual or able. And this marginalizes so many. I mean, we we reward what our culture deems as beautiful and we punish those who are not. Um, We reward productivity and capability and ability, and we punish those who are not able. And we see this borne out in abortion as well as end of life, um, death with dignity as it's so-called and euthanasia and otherwise. Um, We just don't value bodies that aren't beautiful or productive. And um, this is a horrific affront to a holy God who has created everybody in his image and said that everybody is very good 